Hi, this is Dan, and I'm back with more Let's Play of Crush Deluxe. So we'll head into our league and distribute our points to our guys. Uh, uh, presumably they've, uh, they've got a few more skill points since we won the last game. I mean, even if we wouldn't have won, there's a good chance we uh, would have points to spend, but especially since we won. And the, uh, the win, I'm not 100% sure how uh, legitimate it was, since the AI seemed to be acting strangely, but... I guess look at the thing. Alright, now Thusane is now awe-inspiring. Uh, so he's going to be even more impressive when he gets the ball now. Uh, so now they only get uh, reaction checks 5% of the time. And we want to build up to this 100 skill points. Oh. That might not be impossible, especially since he's intelligent, so he gets a discount. Alright, Nixton doesn't have enough for the next level. Thifu is now stoic. Nywain, not yet sly. Lydox, he's not a leader yet, but he's getting there. I mean, uh, and this is actually a hive overseer for him. So that'll cost 60 skill points. Psydox is also getting very close. Thudu is has enough for Stoic. Nixvon doesn't have enough. And Kydox doesn't have enough. Alright, let's look at the roster. Alright, nobody looks injured. So we'll head over to the schedule. And start up the, uh, the third game of the season. Uh, as usual, we uh, watch the, uh, the computer play their three games first. Yeah, I was a little bit worried that um, the computer might be, uh, like in the early part of the second season, they might be more formidable than at the, uh, the end of the first season, but it doesn't seem like we're having a huge amount of trouble. Obviously, um, we are having some, right? Some of the guys we've noticed are like really hard to take down and so forth, and that's, that's probably because they've been getting uh, the skill upgrades just like we have, but they've been spending them on things like, you know, toughness and uh, checking ability and things like that, whereas we've been focusing on that uh, psyche tree. But uh, once we get our start getting that filled out and get up to the Hive Overseer, then I think uh, most of my guys uh, aside, and I'm going to start uh, branching out to the other trees, and we'll have to see which ones we like. But we've still got a ways to go. Uh, right, we just saw that uh, Thusain needs another 100 points to get to the one I want. Then again, Thusain is something of a superstar and get, tends to get a lot of points every game, so... He's probably got lots of, lots of endorsement deals off the field. Which is good for the entire 9x collective, I guess. It's always kind of funny in these games where the ball gets further and further away from the end. Yeah. Like when things get just like it turn into a big brawl. That, that can be like one of the one of the signs that uh, it's happening. But they're moving it closer. Oh, look at that. There's a big uh, board around the ball. I'm not even seeing where it is now. Might have got tele. Okay, that Kermine had it. That okay, guy has it. They've got six turns left. I'm I'm gonna wager this is headed for a tie.
I think there's one more AI game here. Or maybe not. We might be up. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna play. We're facing the heroes and the Olympians. Ooh. Oh wow, and the Olympians, uh, probably one of their their uh, Dragorans is injured in there. They've got a, uh, an XJS as a as a backup. Ooh, this is the arena I hate. It's very jump uh, jump oriented. Hussein is here. Not the greatest beam in location for him. A pretty straightforward first turn. an XJS. Yeah. Yeah, we could cheat. So I was looking at the uh, names because that can be a clue to um, when a character is using a hologram belt they still show the real name which might be slightly cheating that I can see that but then again like the refs would call them by name and so forth, so that's probably not private information. And it's still, as we saw in the, uh, the, the uh, I saw, if you watched the, uh, the first season, uh, there was a team that was all fake, uh, fake curtains, so they were nine axes with hologram belts. Uh, that's not the jump button. <laughs> hints that uh, helped me figure that out was the name of the, uh, the guy, because uh, when he got to, like, the ref uh, did some enforcement against him, and, like, he had a very, a very 9X style name, even though he looked like a Kurgan. So I was thinking maybe that isn't really an XJS 9000, maybe it's another kind of creature with a belt, but you know, it looks like it's just an XJS, so... Gretimus, I recall, was one of their uh, star players, I think, in previous the previous season. Even though I think Thiefu is sly by this point, but I still caught him. Alright, so we can go here. And jump to here. Surprised he's made uh, both jumps so far. Because he's only got a 53 jump. At least at this point, in the, you know, these have both been activated, so we've got to get down here. Yeah, since they're uh, 9x, their skills obviously get better as more of them uh, get into the arena. Uh, 
there. So I think this, because of the layout of the arena, I think this is going to be a tough one. So, and obviously the, um, I, it seems like I think this is the uh, the home arena for these um, the Olympians. And it seems like they're they've got the equipment to handle it. Right? They've got these uh, insulated boots, so they can just walk right over the the uh, things. So even their uh, extra ass can do it. Oh man, that's bad luck. So he's gonna, he's gonna do yet another jump to here. Yeah, it's bound to happen eventually, like sooner or later, doing all those jumps. So. Yeah, alright, well, this one's not going great. Especially with those, um, our guys being, uh, you know, ejected by the refs, we don't get the uh, the advantage of the skill upgrade for having them on the uh, on the field. Not sure exactly where that guy thought he was going, but he got knocked down anyway. So I'm guessing that the way to bet here is that the Olympians are going to get the ball. It's so uh, it's so weird to not uh, hear the electricity sound after the buzzer, but since it uh, since they've got the boots, you don't hear the uh, the sound effect for the shocking. Right. And this guy's just gonna come down this way. Hussein's gonna try to jump out of this trap. Alright. Stayed on his feet, that's good. So I think the only one that's still active is this one down here. So those are both those are triggered. Yep, so by process of elimination, the ball must be here. So we need to head in this direction. We'll head over. Oops. Okay, that's fine. We'll go here. So maybe we'll potentially get, uh, depending on where this guy goes, we might get a reaction check against him. It's going to be a while before anybody gets that ball out of there. Unless somebody gets another lucky beam in. Because there aren't many people close to it, and most of us have to jump to get there, which tends to take a few turns. So. Yeah, that 
guy seems like he's confused, like the AI is just not doesn't know what to do with him. Which has me a little concerned. Oh, man. I mean, I guess we've had a few games where we didn't get uh, dinged at all, so it's probably just, you know, probability uh, happening, but uh, it's kind of a disaster for our team. Check the check here. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah. So I was going to say I was a bit nervous about uh, doing the check on the red hand, but uh, way to go, Hussein. You are awesome. And everybody loves you. mission to be on the highlight reel of every game, I think. So this guy, I'm going to try to... Sneak by here. And see if we can uh, prevent this uh, Dragoran from getting close to the ball bin. Downside of the uh, Dragorans is I think they're a little bit fragile. So I doubt the heroes are going to be able to get the ball. So I think it's going to be a question of um, whether the uh, the Olympians can get it before me or or not. But then I think that the heroes are probably going to be able to present a a better uh, defensive situation once the uh, the ball is uh, in play. Whereas we only have like three guys on the field, so. Right. Well, I think he's got it. Alright, 
So this is going to be a much harder game than uh, the previous few. So I bring him here. Wow, what you're saying is uh, wrecking people. Um, yeah, I think we do want to try to take out these heroes as well. So, Nixton is going to go there, and we'll send Thusane here, depending on which way um, this guy tries to go with the ball, whether he wants to go out this way or this way, we'll have somebody well positioned. So he's going to just stay right there, even though I've got more points. I don't think it uh, makes sense to try to jump over and do anything, because he, he, uh, the Olympians have those uh, anti-electricity boots. So they've got way more mobility around these, um, these uh, shocking skull trap things than we do. So we need to let them make the first move. Plus, we'd probably end up doing a lot of that if we tried to jump over things, so... So when the heroes are doing this thing and where they seem to always have like a big cluster of uh, players exactly where the ball needs to go, so this is good. Alright, well we got our reaction, but uh, didn't take him down, so... way back here. Well, this actually, it's not bad though, because this is where the ball needs to go, so he'll run into the action eventually. Well, 
first one didn't work. You know what, actually? I think it'll make more sense to um, check with Dusain first. Oh, crap. So I was doing that just because uh, my goal was it would, would have been nice to be able to uh, pick up the ball as well, but well, we didn't even knock him down. Okay, well, back here, I think our best bet is just uh, to do this. And hope that the hero's uh, defense uh, works uh, against the Olympians. Because right now we are not, uh, not able to do a whole lot if we can't uh, take down this guy with the ball. So. Hopefully the um, the heroes will be able to do it for us. And the guy with the ball seems to have an incredible dodge, so. And I think uh, Dragorans have good, pretty good dodgeability by default, and that guy probably has upgrades. Now, however, he is kind of boxed in, so at least there's that. So I'm not sure what I would do if I were in his shoes. Okay, maybe I would have tried to um, check some of those uh, humans out of the way, and maybe make a path. But I think uh, I think there's some way he might be able to get get by if he jumps. But it's a big risk. Hey, and we stayed on our feet. what happens when the uh, the ball wants to crawl away but there's nowhere for it to crawl to so now it's going to be a new scramble to go pick up pick it up there So we'll start with this guy. Kydox. And... Um, you know what? I'm just going to stay there because I... I he, with the jump of 65, I'm willing to risk it now. 
when it was a 50 50 i was thinking man i might as well just uh, step onto the electricity but that's also um hurt me in the past and like literally like the guy one of my guys got injured by doing that so a little gun shy but uh. We do. Uh, I'll head here, and that will at least gives them the potential for a lot of reactions there. guy up just to um so that we get the uh yeah. the hope had been that we would get uh, the reaction i mean the uh, the def the assist on our defensive check huh? oh thusane is awe inspiring that's probably why he's not getting very many reaction checks here that was the uh the upgrade we just uh, unlocked for him I totally forgot that we had that ability. <laughs> yeah, that's the downside of, um, like, thinking in terms of, okay, uh, like, all my guys are going to have strat, you know, upgrade path X, is that the, uh, their individual position within that series, it's hard to keep track of. All right. Although not all of my guys are probably going to go for all. That way he mostly took that because it's on the way to Sensei. So, the heroes are going to be a problem, I think, but we do have a really good chance if we've got one guy in a position to just grab the ball and run with it, so that's what I'm hoping happens. even better. Although there is a chance that uh, there's a dribble in there that could grab the ball as well, which will be a problem if he gets it. There's any way we well, I guess we we're gonna get one check. Maybe two. Okay. 
Alright, so this guy is going to have 40, so he can get 2. This guy has 70, so you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, okay, he can also do it. But we're going to have to sort of run the gauntlet here. Fawn up here. Well, that didn't work. Uh, so, do we have anybody else? This guy might as well jump. Let's see him standing here, back against the record machine. are all the way back here now. We, uh, we're not prepared for that uh, teleport. So that's what happens when you get a bunch of heroes involved. Yeah. Just gum up the works. Um, I don't know if I should just be running for it or um, throwing some gratuitous checks here. Well, let's let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, not only did that not do what we needed it to do. Actually, kind of set us like helped him. <laughs> All right, Hussein, can you do it again? So it looks like this one's going to be a loss. I don't see how the heroes can do anything to um, to prevent the Olympians from just running it in to the end. And we are obviously not able to do anything because we tried our best and we just failed. The AI is kind of confused by that part, that part of the map. It just it, like it can't. It seems like it can't stick a uh, consistent um, strategy for where it wants to go. So it just kind of bounces back and forth, and it, rather than uh, like picking a direction and sticking with it for two turns, in which case it would actually get out. But it just starts going like hopping back and forth. We've seen that uh, before on this map. The Olympians turn. I'm not sure they can actually get it there this turn, but like I don't think there's anything anyone's going to be able to do. So either this turn or next turn, they're going to win. Unless they do something really dumb.
Alright, so it's going to be another turn, it looks like. But... Let's see here. So this is the only guy who potentially can do anything. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six... Well, he can get here. So he's going to at least get a chance at a, uh, a reaction. Uh, so back here. Uh, I'll just have these guys take some shots. think there's going to be uh, much that these guys can do, so I'm just trying to get some some skill points for them. Uh, Hussein, run up, run up as far as we can. Same for this guy. So he... Well... And the extremely unlikely chance that... Okay. Oh. I was going to say that we uh, actually make the check up here. We should run him up to potentially be support, but uh, and actually, in which case, this guy should should also go one square ahead. Press that. All right. Uh, 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 scroll, keep scrolling away, but I was going to say we're done anyway. So. All right, now it's the hero's turn. Again, I don't see how they can do anything that's going to impact the game. Because they can't, they're not fast enough to get close to the ball. We gotta. Ah. It's just a, it gets a little bit sad when the AI gets trapped in, in, the, in the those corners. So we're getting close to the, the final uh, thing. Let's see if my uh, my last desperate play will pay off. Nope. Now, 
I guess they deserve that win. I mean, I put most of the blame on the heroes for that, for uh, basically having too many guys clustered around the ball. And, uh, but that knocked it free, and these guys were able to capitalize on that, so good on them. Uh, Matt and Mark did well in checking. Carnage, I think, obviously, Thusain did pretty well there. So overall, it's probably going to be Sipimus. Yep. All right, well, we can't win every game. Uh, and that... The music cut out there ominously, okay. It was uh, doing that thing where it switched uh, focus away. Uh, <laughs> so we lost that one. And um, yeah, well, I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the video. Uh, if you did, let me know. Or if you've got any other feedback, let me know that. And I'll see you next time. Bye.